Air forces seem to have solved the recruitment problem, but the next question is what about the aircraft they're flying into train? Well, a UK company, Aralis, think they have the answer with a modular design. Luca, welcome to the program. Tell me what you mean by a modular design. So we use um, a, a model that's uh, well proven in the civil aerospace market of a, a modular, modular design with multiple different configurations to fulfill different market needs. So we use a, what we call common core fuselage, which is a central section of the aircraft, which is common across different variants. Um, and then multiple, uh, what we call modular external subassemblies, which are different wing configurations and different en engine configurations to then allow them to operate in different uh, scenarios, um, but reduce that through life cost of the aircraft. Okay, so you're going to come up with these several different options, and what does that do? Does that give you basic training and something else? Absolutely. So the aircraft is um, is um, is available for lots of different markets, but at the moment we're focused on the basic and advanced. Um, so we have a swept wing and a lower rated engine for the advanced uh, for the basic aircraft, and then a swept wing and higher rated engine for the for the advanced. Um, so it removes the need of those two diff completely different aircraft with different ILS and uh, different support chains, and replaces them with one common family of aircraft. And um, that gives you about a 30 to 35 percent. Um, uh, reduction in through life costs um, and that was some work we did with, uh, with Fraser Nash to, to prove out that uh, cost model. Now as a UK company are you doing this on your own or are you bringing in others to work with you? No, absolutely not. We've got a, a strong backing from a, a lot of different um, big prime contractors. So we've already announced the partnership with Talas um, and also with Atkins on the engineering side. Um, we have more announcements coming this week um, including one with KBR um, and then some more exciting companies um, coming along the line as well. Now, when we, we look around the F-35 and then we see uh, Team Tempest um, selling the idea for the UK's new fighter, do you see yourselves having an involvement in, in those? Yeah, absolutely. So the aircraft, because it's modular and upgradable, allows us to build an aircraft that will fulfill the F-35 requirement now, but then also allows us to upgrade and, and fulfill the, uh, the Tempest and whatever other aircraft uh, in the sixth generation come over the hill, we can, we can also fulfill those as well, yes. So we're talking about uh, today in a, in a presentation around what sixth generation fighter um, t uh, tr pilots need to be trained in, and that's exactly where we're building the aircraft. Uh, and that's also where the information system that, that backs up this aircraft is also focused as well. So looking at things like gamification and how you get those pilots through the system much quicker. Okay, when we, when we turn that on again a bit further on, we look at the Hawk that's flying now and has been flying for you know, some decades, I think. Do you see yourself as being a replacement there and will you ever see the Red Arrows flying this? Um, so Hawk is a fantastic aircraft and actually we're modelling our, our approach is, is a lot like the Hawk. So the Hawk was um, designed, built and flown in only two years, which is, which is a similar time frame to what we're looking at. It was also privately funded um, by Hawker Sidley at the time and then, and then sold to the Royal Air Force. Um, so we are, um, we are absolutely following on, uh, on, on, the, you know, on the heels of, of Hawk and certainly a lot of our target customers uh, are currently Hawk operators. Um, the, the Red Arrows are obviously have aircraft at the moment um, and, and we'd certainly love to be that replacement to, to the Red Arrows. Obviously being a, a wholly British company that that would be, uh, you know, that would be the, the, the aim for us. Luca, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much.